Good morning and welcome to the Muskegon Hackney Park Memorial Day Ceremony. Today our, cer our honorary Grand Marshal is the family of Dwayne Buckner. Dwayne passed away this past year and has been the leader of the Muskegon uh, County Memorial Day Ceremony and worked for the Muskegon County Veterans for many years and it's something we have not forgotten and we'd like to thank the Buckner family for being acting as our Grand Marshals. One other note. One other note before I forget, the Masonic Temple is serving cookies and uh, refreshments direct, right after our ceremony, and it's directly across the street. Please feel free to go over there. They'd love to serve you. At this time, we'd like to welcome the Leffering Sisters, who once again are honoring us by singing the national anthem. Ladies. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Thank you, ladies. That was great. I'd like, not, I'd like to now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you could all rise, if you could, please. Just stay safe. Just stay safe. Order arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order arms. The invocation will now be given by Jack Harrington, who is a chaplain of American Legion, post number nine. Jack. Shall we uncover? Almighty God, in whom we live and move and have our being, we come into your presence in hope and thanksgiving. We commit ourselves into your loving hands and in your mercy, we ask your blessing upon us. Give us wisdom and guidance as we endeavor to serve our fellow veterans. Help us all to live our lives that we may be worthy children of your family. Help us to be good neighbors. When we have trespassed against them and sinned against you, we ask your pardon and forgiveness. For these and all good gifts, we thank you. In your name we pray, amen. We will now have the posting of our colors. Ladies Auxiliary, please post. Thank you. Glad to see so many people here today. Uh, we have a very unique presentation in a, in a minute by Mr. Richard Malali. Uh, you're in for a treat and you're in for some information I'm sure many of you do not know, but you'll be glad to hear. Uh, Richard 
uh, is a Muskegon resident, been here a long time, and prior to the activities that he's now undertaking, he worked for 15 years within the county to do, so, to do us all a big favor, and he's been very successful in that endeavor. Uh, you go into a restaurant now, and you don't have to fight cigarette smoke. Well, Dick was forefront in the fight to get the legislation and get all that information passed so that we could uh, enjoy a smoke-free atmosphere. So we owe Dick our gratitude for that. Well, as that became accomplished, Dick figured, well, there's got to be something else that I should do, because all this time he had recognized that we were losing our World War II veterans too fast. So Dick embarked on a program to try to interview all the veterans from World War II in Muskegon County. And he'll tell you the numbers, but he's up over 900. And uh, he services, performs that service. It's very critical to us, so we don't lose the story. We don't, under, we don't lose the understanding of what these veterans did to give us what we have today. So without any other words, uh, Richard Mavalli.